Good morning. All right. So today I'll be showing you how to fix a um, rear view mirror um, DVR recorder. All right. So the problem that I'm having with this unit is that whenever the power is plugged in, all right, it will start up as usual. However, after after a few seconds or few minutes, it actually um, turn off uh, by itself and the battery doesn't charge up as you can see right here um, yeah it's not turning on okay so the problem with this is that you will notice that the battery here is always charging and is never full all right it's never full it's never halfway so what happened is that the built-in battery has already degraded and uh, it no longer holds enough charge so whenever there's a spike of power um, that the cable is not able to accommodate this thing will shut down by itself all right so what we'll be doing here is how uh, we'll be changing off the battery so to do that oh another symptom is that the moment you unplug it turns off by itself all right so one uh what we'll be doing is that we'll be replacing the battery so um we we'll have to open this up all right so this is actually a eager eye model eg6019 uh it's one of the high-end models but um it has been used for a couple of years so i'm not surprised that the battery has already degraded so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten screws here that needs to be um, um, removed so that we can actually open this up. All right. There you have it. All ten screws. All right. So we'll put that aside. So I'd like to talk a bit about on what we actually require uh, to get this done. So we'll be needing an electronic screwdriver set, which is the um, Phillips head, the small ones. Uh, we'll have this uh, solder sucker, I think. Uh, some soldering iron. And that's about it that we need. Oh, we need the replacement battery as well uh, I'll show you this later alright so now that we've removed the screws all we need to do is just lift it up okay so we have to lift up a bit uh, carefully because there might be cables on the bottom Yep, as I said, there might be cables on the bottom. Alright. So it seems that um, there's no way of removing the cable. Okay, so what we'll do is we will flip this over. We'll flip this over. The cables are still connected. Try not to break it because once you broke it, it's gone totally useless all right so we can see that it is joined by two connectors over here not connectors i mean so the on and you can see that the battery has actually uh, bloated up it's no longer flat or anything all right so okay okay so the replacement battery that i'm using is actually um has a smaller capacity compared to the original reason being is that um this is what i can find uh i did manage to find one whereby the capacity is slightly higher However, um, that was all the way back in um, 
October, but after a couple of months, it didn't arrive, and I told the seller, I might just refund my money. All right, then I got it from somewhere local, and they only have the 350 milliamp, whereas the original is 500 milliamp. Uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, it just lasts a bit shorter period of time. Other than that, it's okay. All right. So when purchasing these type of batteries, you need to take note of the um, of the code. So this is a three o three zero three two model. All right. Um, whereas the original is a three o three four five zero model. Um, that doesn't really matter. What really matters is that you need to take note on the. on the voltage 3.7 volts that's the most important okay. the iron should be hot enough okay so change of plans a bit uh, seems like my soldering irons um, tip is not up for the job uh, let me see if I can focus this to show you alright so my tip is a bit on the black side so the heat doesn't conduct all the way there uh, so um, what I'll be doing is um, okay so what I'll be doing is that I will be cutting this wire and then I'm gonna just um, connect it over to the new battery be back I need to get my cutter okay so I've cut the battery out so as you can see this is a uh, 303450 all right Okay, so what we'll be doing is we'll be splicing this and then splicing this, connect it, wrap it up, alright? So Okay, we are done, we have connected and we have Alright, as you can see, it's fully charged Alright, so that's how you replace the battery on the DBR, alright? Let me just unplug this Okay, you can still see that it is still fully charged. Alright, thank you. Okay, so for today we have already shown you um, how to change the battery on the um, rear, rear view mirror um, DBR, such as this. Alright, however, some may actually um, debate why bother changing the battery when a new one costs like um, 100 ringgit or about $25 all right so I bought this a couple of years back it was about 400 ringgit um, it's quite a branded one uh, in Malaysia so the battery the replacement battery costs about 18 ringgit um, which is um, something I say economical compared to buying a new one for about 100 ringgit so 18 ringgit is much more worth it all right so um, in the future, I will be um, showing more tutorials, more videos on how to repair or replace things. Uh, so if you would like to see this, this type of videos, uh, hit subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Alright, so for the moment, peace out.